flat out adored you, Mum. Honestly, I couldn't see why. I hated you growing up. I lie about that. But Dad, you had the gift of seeing the best in people. Especially you. You're right. You would have hated it today. A bunch of people that he hardly knew and hardly knew him telling stories about him that were only half true. You would have hated that. It was actually my grandfather's. When he passed away, he actually passed it on to my parents. Um, but in um, 2005, uh, they ended up um, dying in a horrific car accident. Um, the Nokia was the only thing that survived, actually, so um, it's the only thing I've got left. So, what do you say to people who think you're disadvantaged by still using a Nokia? Yeah, I don't understand it. Like, I fairly do not understand it. Like, last time I checked, we were supposed to be living in a society where basically we can do what we want and be who we want. And besides, like, the amount of money that I've saved from not having to upgrade every year on these phones, I could basically save and spend on more important things. Oh, Ron. Can I ask you something, Jack? Do you love your wife? What? I mean, Something like all of this. What happened to her? How would it feel? Shut up. It'd be quite devastating, wouldn't it? Have you, uh, talked to her recently? My personal life doesn't concern you. See, right there. That's when you got it wrong, Jack. It concerns me a lot. What the fuck have you done? I haven't done anything, Jack. We've been talking all this time. Your beautiful wife, however, is at home. All by herself. She's alone, Jack. Day in, day out. While you are sitting here trying to figure out these pointless mysteries, I think that's the real crime, Jack. A unsympathetic human being neglecting what he used to love. Better call this in. Zero Alpha. This is Eagle One. We have eyes on two unidentified personnel. What's our next move? Over. This is Zero Alpha. If you decide they are a threat, then you have a green light to engage. Copy that. Eagle One out. Alright. It's your call. What do we do now? So we go and check it out. It could be armed for, armed for self defense reasons. Alright. Stay here and cover me. I'm gonna go try and talk to him. Alright. program for one week now. How are you finding it? Um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, although I've had to uh, resort, without the Nokia, I've had to resort to um, other ways of trying to communicate. <sighs> okay. Hello, hello, hello. One of the other struggles is trying to keep myself entertained. Like, when I had the Nokia, I used to play Snake 2. But uh, now I don't know what to do anymore. So damn hard. What is? This.
Beauty, study. She's getting to me, that's all. Look, I know now's not the best time to bring it up, but you need to start working again. Oh, Rachel, look, you have to understand that. I know, you'll be making the big bucks once you graduate, but that's a few years from now, and right now we need the money. We can always move back in with your parents if we have to. No, no, stop right there. We're not doing that, okay? We are not failures. I mean, why can't I be like Tyler? Who? Tyler Daniels, the guy next door. I mean, have you seen what he's got? He's got everything. He's got a nice fancy suit, you know, he drives a nice car, he wears a Rolex. I mean, I feel like such a loser compared to him. Well, there's one thing you have that he doesn't. Oh, uh, what's that? Financial debt to the point where he has to consider moving back in with his parents. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Um, anyway, I've got to get back to work. I'll be home at five. I'll put the mail, by the way, so I completely forgot. It's just one letter. This is Tyler's. Bad, I must have got it wrong. Do you reckon we should? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? Uh, well, it's illegal for starters. Oh, come on, look, you'll never know I me. Mean, besides, I've got to be a detective anyway. I mean, this would be good practice. Look, I'm going and I want nothing to do with this. <sighs> Rachel, just... I fair income, don't know. I mean, look, I want to be modern, be part of the modern age and all, but um, the Nokia's been part of my life for a decade and it's, it's, it means a lot to me because of my parents and all. Um, and look, let's put it this way. If, if I was out in the bush and... And I accidentally fell off a cliff and uh, I had this bloody thing in my pocket. I mean, like, it shattered on impact. Wouldn't it? You wouldn't be able to call for help. Yeah, exactly my point. Exactly my point. I mean, with a Nokia, you would not have that problem. Not at all. And you know what? Because of that, I reckon I'm going to stick with Nokia. Yeah, stick with Nokia. I just hope that the uh, professor does a fine this gesture very insulting. Is this early copy? Of course. Overwhelming, isn't it? 30 years of government secrets contained in one single article. Do you think we can print it? I mean, sorry? Legally. You are the lawyer that the newspaper sent, right? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, you might use your bathroom. It's down the hall. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, he's written the article, right? Yeah, it's all true. It's there. Oh, yeah. It's damaging, all right? Eliminate the writer and confiscate the article. Did I hear that right? Ah! Yeah. Almost there, alright? Just, just keep it in there. Yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Come on, Aaron, Aaron. Come on. 